everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon Plays uh, Project Zomboid. And I gotta tell you, it's been a while since I last played uh, Project Zomboid and recorded for it. Uh, the first five episodes of the series should have been recorded in one single day, and that was a while back. I've recently been upping my recording sessions for a lot of games, especially Xenonauts. Since I'm doing that, Xenonauts and RimWorld Daily, I've had to like kind of up my recording sessions a bit. So um, it's kind of taken Project Zomboid in the backseat a little bit. But uh, I'm running out of episodes to air of that, so I have to record today. So hopefully you guys understand if I'm a little bit rusty right now, because I kind of have to get my, I guess, Project Zomboid groove back, or my, my mojo back, so to say. Luckily, looking at this day, we are starting off at 4.10 a.m., so at the very least, it should mean that it would, it should, by all extents and purposes, give me a lot more time to actually mess around with here. So um, over here is my weapons. I do remember that. We do have a, spiked, uh, a nailed baseball bat. I was about to call it a spiked baseball bat. Well, I guess it's almost the same thing, right? Let's not be... Let's not split hairs over what's what. <clears throat> I have a bookshelf over here because I don't have... Oh, I mean, it's a closet that I put my books in, apparently, because I can't afford a, a bookshelf in my... Well, I was going to say, I can't afford it in my own house, but let's be real here. This isn't really our house now, is it? It's a house that I basically just took over because I can, and because it's Barbara Walters, so she can do whatever the fuck she likes, right? <laughs> Alrighty, so, um, this is our room, our master bedroom, <laughs> right? That is a room. Uh, zombies are here now. I was told that I can't clean these bodies up, I just have to right-click them. And there should be an option to kind of clean them out, and I love to do that. Alright, there's a zombie here. I see the zombie. Now, I'm right-clicking zombie. Oh, grab corpse. Okay. So I did grab the corpse. And I could grab this one too, huh? Okay, so two zombie cor- Okay, wait, that one just popped up. So I could only grab one at a time, is that what you're telling me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so... Before we even head out for today, let me just go outside and drop this body off, just because um, I don't want them inside of my house ruining the uh, the allure of the place. <clears throat> Speaking of the allure of the place, how about the allure of uh, talking correctly here and my voice not failing me? So, I'm outside. It's a little bit dark out here, so it's a little bit scary, but what I want to do here is um, corpse and unequip... Well, you could unequip the corpse. Okay, I guess that would be the same thing, right? Unequipped corpse? There you go! Yeah, you hang out out over here, right? You don't belong in my house, fucking zombie. Let's close this up. Let's go over here and grab the other ones, then. Alrighty, so, if we could do this pretty good, it'll kind of, like, make me feel a bit more comfortable at my place. Now, I wonder if you could clean up the blood, though. That's the second, uh, I guess, permutation over here that we have to worry about. Open this door. And that's alright, I don't care if there's bodies outside of my house. If anything's gonna kind of... Lore people into believing that whoever lives here must be the toughest badass of all time because, you know, bodies are just strung all over the fucking place, meaning that, you know, somebody that lives here is obviously a badass and you don't want to fuck with Barbara Walters, that's for sure. Or the Barb, as we've come to know her for. Alrighty, I think that's the last one. Now, blood can't be clean, maybe not conventionally. I mean, I'd imagine you'd probably need, like, a washcloth or something, though, right? So I wonder if maybe the washcloths do work for that permutation alone. If so, then we know, and, um, you know, if you guys do know, let me know, and then uh, we'll take care of it. But at the very least, bodies are out of the way, so that's a good step in the right direction here. It's almost 6.20 now. Goddamn, fucking time just flies. So let me just eat this lettuce here really quickly and get ready for our day ahead. Slightly fed. I do believe that we have to head to the warehouse, right? Last episode, I did kind of scope it out. Let me just eat a lemon straight up now. Okay, cool. Now, if I could just find, like, a Corona, we'd be pretty much set. Have a little bit of a lemon, have a Corona, and you're good to go. Now, let's fill the empty mug, and let's also take a drink. And I think that's gonna be pretty much good, right? Mug of water, weapons, bags. No other thing really holding us back. Big hiking bag should be equipped as our secondary, I should say. Right, and then we have this one on our back. This one is our second bag. Cigarettes, I guess, we'll take. They don't really weigh too much anyway. And let's actually go ahead and equip. This is our primary. Okay, and we're good to go, I think. Let's fucking go. Let's actually get some stuff here done today, as opposed to just meandering about the house for like seven hours and coming out of here at two o'clock. So it's seven o'clock, it's still relatively... It is seven in the morning, right? It should be. It, it, don't tell me it's not. Let me put some volume in the game here. Alright, zombie is coming at me. Let me see if I remember how to fight here. Well, apparently I do, because I just knocked this person into next week. Or not person, or I guess uh, used to be a person and whatnot. Okay, so I think we're good. Yeah, it's 7. It's starting to get a bit lighter now. I was worried there for a second. I was like, wait a minute. It looks a little bit too dark for it to be like 7 o'clock right now. So I'm thinking we could probably do a mad dash to the warehouse as opposed to a, as opposed to a mad world by uh, Tears for Fears. I, I think it's for Tears for Fears, right? Hey, you. Hey. Pay attention to me. I don't pay you not to pay attention to me, alright? Well, I don't guess I pay you in reality. 
I'm paying you with some screen time in the Project Zomboid series, so how about that, zombie man? Think about that, did you? Alright, so let's just run over there. Now, mind you, running could alert zombies, I'm fully aware of that, but I also would love to start dicking or uh, stop dicking around so much and, you know, being in places for way too long that I really should be. There's zombies over here, and you know what? We're gonna definitely fight them, just because it'll give us a little bit of, a uh, melee points to our... Well, melee skill, I suppose. <laughs> Some melee points to my melee skill. I'm a master linguist sometimes, alright, so that one's dead. The other one kind of booked it, and you know what? I really don't have the time to actually deal with it, so... Good. Good for it. It ran off, it's alive. Can you really say a zombie's alive, though? I just realized that, I mean... Technically, it's not alive. But it's, it's, I'm um, still walking, I guess, is what the other thing we can't say. What, how are you doing? Yeah, you didn't even see me sneaking up on you, huh? Apparently, that's how fucking stealthy I am. Alrighty, so I think this street should lead us down to the warehouse, so as long as I just kind of, uh... Peruse myself down here. Oh yeah, I see this fucking this uh, <laughs> this fucking field of dead corpses leads me to believe that this is the right direction, because I'm pretty sure I did this. Oh yeah, that, that has that has Barbara Walters written all over it. Let me tell you. Alrighty, so zombie over here is all good. Let's jump this fence. Alrighty, gotta remember that E is just about the uh, most important key in the game. Let's me climb fences. Let me open doors, etc., etc. Alrighty, so apparently I didn't get any but everybody here, but. There's this dude still wandering about. Oh, I didn't bring my fucking hammer, did I? How am I gonna get inside of the door then? That's just a really... That just dawned on me. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to fucking bring it down with the bat. Not too happy about that ordeal, but... I, I was told that there should have been a key in this, um... Little complex. What the fuck are you doing over here? Thought I killed everybody here. Alright, zombie. You don't... You don't... You don't fuck with a person with a nailed bat, that's all I can tell you right now, especially one named Barbara Walters. I was told there should have been a key in here, for this area. I didn't find a fucking key. Alright, so I'm not sure if I was being, like, you know, roost. And if I was roost about that, then, you know, kudos to you, but... Not the biggest fan of your lies. I'm hearing something being banged? Which, uh, <laughs> I know has a really severe negative connotation behind it, but it's not supposed to. Uh... Okay. I can't get into that door, which makes perfect fucking sense. Zombies over here, they'll probably hear me running. Which is probably not the best thing imaginable. They can jump over the fence. I'd like to see you try it. Let's we'll see how nimble you are, zombie. Let me get rid of this one, though. Alrighty. Oh, okay! Hey! <laughs> I guess I missed it all together, but you did um, take me up on my offer after all. Alright, loot thing, can you just go away for a second? I'm a little bit busy here. I'm dealing with the most uh, athletic zombies of all time. Alright, so that one's dead. What about you? Oh yeah, you want some too, huh? One-handed knockout, really good. Alright, so you, hey. You're gonna hang out there, that's fine. There's another door here, which I can't access either. Alrighty. So already, this is turning out to be quite the, um... <laughs> this is turning out to be quite the, um, pr uh, I guess, uh, impressive episode here. Where I can't even get into the warehouse where I said I was gonna look into getting. I really don't have it, huh? That's a fucking shame. So, this is what we do then. We're gonna have to just knock it down with the baseball bat. I'm not too crazy about it because I don't think the baseball bat has the durability for this. But, <clears throat> it saves me a trip back and you know how lazy I am, right? Let's make sure that there's nothing behind us. I am making a insurmountable amount of noise over here. Am I swinging at the air now? I think I am. All right, door. I got nowhere to go and you have all the places to fall down right now. So, I'm not gonna leave until you're fucking down and shredded, okay? Okay, wait, wait, I think I broke it. Alright, bitches, yeah, we're in, alright? Baseball battle was enough because it's time to survive that, so we're all good. Now, this right here is a danger zone for me. There's so many doors, so many options to get scared, and I don't like getting scared. Oh, hey, hey, you? Hey, you wanna come out? Okay, good. Dead zombie? Anybody else in here with you? Nope. Okay, good, good, good. Now, we can't close this door, which is what worries me the most now. I don't wanna get, um... And trapped in here. So that's good. Now let's take care of uh, this one here. Zombies? Zombie man? Nothing. Okay, let's find out if there's anything of interest here. Another baseball bat. I will grab this because obviously the one that we have right now might be giving out on us really soon. A paintbrush, a watering can. I think the watering can is useful for um, once we start planting. I'm not sure if I'm hearing a helicopter outside of my house or in game. It's really loud though. <laughs> Okay, and I think that's all. But let's just grab the magazine as well. And I guess we'll grab the cigarillos as well. Grab all these bad boys and grab that. That's about it for now. Okay. 
Let's proceed. Let's just close these doors down. Or actually, leave them open so just so I know that I've already checked them out, huh? I see a corpse in here, which worries me because I didn't kill it. Anything in here? No. Alrighty, so we're still safe. Blue paint, brown paint. I'm not really looking to be a carpenter right now, so you can keep that paint to yourself. Zombies? Zombies? No. Alrighty. I feel like when I'm over here calling out for the zombies, I feel like the lead singer of the Cranberries over here. Just a slightly less annoying. Not that she's in, has an annoying voice. I, I love the Cranberries. But, um, you know, that whole zombie, like, 20 times could get a little bit on your nerves after a little while. I guess I'll grab the trowel, the that, and baseball bats, too, huh? Alright, that's Thunder Falcon. Don't get scared. You know what thunder sounds like, right? You are a human being. Why? I'm not sure why, but it sounds like when I'm walking, it sounds like really... Like I'm walking on puddles of water when... It's raining outside, not inside, to my knowledge. This up. <laughs> okay, okay. So, oh god, oh god, oh, oh my lord. Oh god. Wait, just go back for a second. Holy shit. Okay. The other one just rushed out. You want to inside that room so bad, huh? I'm not in there, though. Hey, I'm not in there. <laughs> okay. Crisis averted. Okay, trowel. I, I have a few of those now, don't I? I guess I'll take one more just in case, um... In case that thunderstorm gets any louder, which it is. Why did you want in here so bad? Did you want to hang out on the couch so bad? Apparently, in his past life, he was just like a big old couch potato. He just wanted in here so bad. A tent kit, huh? Let's grab that. That sounds really interesting. That could be worth our buck. Well, I mean, not really worth our bucks. You don't sell anything in this game. But if you could, I could imagine it'd be pretty good. Vest, huh? I guess that must have been a really important vest for somebody to go out of their way to actually store it. I, I just forgot about my whole open door theory as well. I don't even know what I do sometimes. Or why I do the things I do sometimes already. It's, what time is it? It's 1 o'clock, so let's be very careful about this. Now, what's in here? Fucking zombies. Popping up out of nowhere and scaring the shit out of me. Blouse, cigarettes. God damn it. Somebody, what is this, like the Marlboro factory suddenly? The Marlboro warehouse. Look at this shit. Sick cigarettes again. I'll take that. What do we have in here? Light brown paint? Newspaper? I'll grab the newspaper. What about this one? Purple paint. Alright, you can keep the purple paint. I'm not looking to paint anything just yet. Unless, you know, you use the paint to, like, clean up blood. That would be pretty interesting. What do we have here? Shoes. Some Nikes? I, I don't need those. I already have a pretty good pair going on right now. Alrighty. Zombies? Zombies? Make sure you look behind the doors. I just watched Sabotage recently, so um, if I learned anything about Sabotage, it was that, you know, you always gotta look behind doors. Arnold wouldn't lie to me. Alrighty, uh, trowel. Okay, I have enough of those trowels at this point, okay? It's getting a little bit ridiculous at this point. Let's open this door up. Okay, be very careful. Be very vigilant. Alright, that just leads outside. I guess I'll just unlock the door for now, though, huh? There you go. But now close it. Alrighty. So, the majority of the rooms that have been searched, uh, I really haven't... Can't say I've found anything too important, right? I mean... Mind you, I don't understand the tier of items in Project Zombie just yet. I refuse to go and look it up on the wiki, too. That's the problem with me. It's like I'm over here trying to keep it as um, blind as possible, but I don't think that's going to be really too good for you guys. I should really take the time to look into the wiki. What do you guys think? Should I? I mean, I guess I should just so I know what the fuck I'm doing, but at the same time, your comments have been really helpful as well, so I, I don't know. Plus, I like to keep an air of mystery to what's going on in the game. That one seems to be dead already. And what do we have here? Cigarettes, trowels. I mean, look at this shit, man. This is like the fucking factory of, like, you no know, cigarettes and trowels. It's the only thing I'm finding here. Can't open these guys? Nope. Doesn't seem that way. I think we only have one more door, too. Alrighty. Zombies? No zombies. Alrighty. So, I, I feel relatively safe. Let me close this door, though. And let's find out what's in, um, these bad boys over here. Nothing. Box of nails. That's actually good. And flashlight and wire. I'll take the wire. And I guess I'll grab the flashlight. Might as well. Okay, there we go. So, that basically surmounts of this. I didn't get a saw, I didn't get an axe. That's what I'm really looking for the most, honestly, because I've been hearing that that's what you kind of want to focus on if you want to bring down doors a lot easier and chop down trees and shit to that degree, which is what we need. But I just haven't been lucky enough to find one. So I guess I could keep looking. So, that just about surmounts everything in the warehouse. It's 3 o'clock right now. I still have a little bit more time still. So what I'm going to do is grab the door hinge, grab the door knob. Grab some planks. At the very least, I'm going to grab these items because we could then um, use it 
as a way to um, build a few more extra, I guess, containers in our base. And at the same time, load it up with a few... What is this? You're drowsy already. It's only 340. I know your, your sleeping schedule is all jacked up. But you're going to have to give me a second here, Barbara. Especially after... Let me just deal with the zombie first, Barbara. Then we'll talk about your, your fucking narcolepsy over here. So that's done with. I'm pretty sure I also looted this house on the initial run of the place, right? I should have. Let me double check that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is all looted. We got all this shit. I didn't leave it behind. No man left behind, no item left behind. So, 320. I'm a little bit hungry, so I didn't bring any food with me, did I? Nope. Why would I? <laughs> Why would I take the basics, the basic steps to survive is a real question. So let me just put all this stuff in here, like, uh, the wire could just be... I gave me... Oh, shit, this is already loaded. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, um, 10 of 20. Tw 10 of 12, I should say. So, uh, well, everything's in here. Good. So we haven't been necessarily loading ourselves up, but the one on our back has been being loaded up, which makes sense. I, I don't know how... What is it that I did to um, make the items go directly there? Because that was actually really useful. I'm pretty sure I just stumbled upon it by pure happenstance alone, too. So I can't really take uh, any sort of credit for it and be like, Oh yeah, guys, look, I am improving. I know where to equip stuff immediately to one bag. That's not the case whatsoever, let me tell you. That was all by sheer luck. I guess maybe if you highlight the item and then get out of there and then you loot it, it'll just go directly into it. Let's actually try it out. Let me check this body out. It's just got to have something on it, right? Oh! <gasps> Base God, grab the axe. Let's see if it goes in there. It totally did. And now we have the fucking axe. Ask and you shall receive. Suddenly, this run doesn't seem so bad after all, now does it? I'm over here wandering, whining like, oh, I can't get an axe. Oh, I'm poor fucking falcon. And then, you know what happens? I grab the axe. So, let's take this empty notebook, too. I'm a little bit happy. This right there alone, I think, really made up for the entire trip over here. And it's also a good significance as to why I should probably check these bodies out a bit more often after I kill them. Painkillers, see, that's actually important. Where do you- where are you zombies even coming from? Like, you, you're like the most sneakiest people of all time. Like, I just walked through there and nothing was there. Let me check this corpse out. <gasps> well. Bye, George. I think he's got it. Alright, so we have the axes now. We have quite a few of them. And I'm happy about that because it actually does make a decent weapon, I would have to imagine, right? Baseball bad. I'm good on that right now. And let's find out about this guy. Magazine. You know what? Let me let me grab this magazine off of you. What is it? Hustler? I'm down with the Hustler, man. Let me tell you. I'm a little bit thirsty, though. Meaning we've downed our water. Yep. Okay, we should start heading back at this point. Um, not because it's too late, but at the same time, I could start putting the stuff away for one. And secondly, I could um, be looking into getting sleep earlier so I could wake up earlier and have a lot more daylight to actually do stuff in. So what I'm going to do, more than likely, is actually get back into the house, do a little bit of rearrangement, more than likely. And then, um, I'll check some of these bodies on the way, though. You never know what you could find here. But yeah, that's my, that's my premise right now. We'll do that with the intent of, um, giving me some time to actually organize the items that I picked up just now. Oh god, it's damn too. Ne never mind, you know what? I wanted to, but it's raining now, and I don't want to catch a cold. That would be the last thing I really want happening right now, considering we're doing relatively good, so... I don't want to screw that up. Is this the path that I took over here? I don't think it is. Let's go around here. Alright, Barbara, I know that it's raining. Just give me a second. We'll get you into some secure location really soon. Make sure there's no zombies around here, too. I'm just kind of running around all happy, go, go lucky about things. And I also realized I just used a paraphrase, happy, go lucky, like I am stuck in the 60s. In reality, I probably should be, but that's besides the point. Alrighty. Zombies, 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 zombies. No zombies. Alrighty. This is not our house. Doesn't look like my house whatsoever. My house is the one littered with corpses, obviously. Because we remember that. There you go, this is my house. Why do I know there's so many bodies around? <laughs> okay. So hey, what time is it now? It's uh, 6 o'clock. Good. You know what time it is? It's time for dinner for Barbara, let me tell you that. So Barbara, get, get in here, get some food in you. You kind of earned it after this uh, perusal out there. You know what? I'm gonna have you grab... Uh, a cake slice. I know it, it increases happiness, but I want to make you a little bit happy because this was a good haul for us. I want to basically reward her for a good a job well done. Let's get some grapes in here, too. We'll grab a, a drink of water. And we will also fill up the empty mug. I know it's damp. I'm inside already, right? Game, really relax, right? I'm, I'm trying my best here. So, what do we find here? Axes. Well, that's really important. And more than likely, I'm going to say... 
We should probably put a lot of the stuff that we found in here. That would probably make the most sense. So axes, definitely you come in here because you're going to be part of the building team. Although, one of you guys could also make a really good weapon. You're very tired. I, I know, Barbara. I know. I'm trying to untie you right now. So give me a fucking second while we work here. 32 of 50, huh? How much does the axe take? Three, okay, yeah. It's a really hefty um, acquirement, that's for sure. Box of nails, we'll, you know, put this here as well. Uh, door hinge goes in there as well. Door hinge is not one. Good. Door knob, what about the door knob? 35 of 50. 36 of 50. Flashlight could go in here as well, I would imagine, maybe. If not, whatever, I'm going to put it in there. Two, okay, that takes up around two. Planks. The planks are probably going to be the ones that take up the most space. Just because I could only imagine because it takes so long to put it in there. The actual um, weight must be really hefty on these bad boys. Yeah, three per. So, we're going to definitely have to, maybe next episode, think about building another container inside of this area. Or maybe even working on the fences. I'm still, I'm still kind of thinking about it, though. Trowels. Do I have no trowels? I thought I had trowels. If not, then good. We get, we picked up two trowels, which is part of the whole makeup of things either way. Watering can. You go in there, too. Bring the wire in there. Speaking of which, I hope you guys have watched The Wire, right? Fucking amazing show. All right, so you go in there. Ten kit I'm going to hold on to. I don't think it's going to... Did I just hear gunshots? I totally did hear gunshots. All right, assholes. Don't be shooting around the area, okay? Jesus. So we're good now? I think we're relatively good. I think the only thing we have to put away now is a newspaper. That goes upstairs either way. Uh, all of this goes upstairs for the most part. And so does this. Well, the tent kit doesn't really go upstairs, but I don't have no actual place for it. So I guess we'll have to find a place for it over here. Uh, painkillers should be somewhere here. There you go. So first and foremost, you go in here, bad boy. <laughs> I'm not sure why I just called that tent a bad boy. Those painkillers a bad boy. Sounds like I'm over here talking really erotic to them. Now, does this place have any, like, containers? No, it doesn't. That's a damn shame. Alrighty, so I guess you're gonna have to go in here. Along with the weapons and, let's see, books. Alrighty, so newspaper, you go in here. Magazines, you go in there. And empty notebook, magazine, newspaper, and the pencil as well. Get the fuck in there, pencil. Alrighty. I guess 10 kids going to have to hang out over here. It's not the ideal place for it. I'm not too happy about it, but it's going to work out for now. And I guess just because I am a moron, I'm going to put the cigarettes along with the be <laughs> with the actual pills. You know, pills to make you feel better and cigarettes to, you know, do quite the opposite. Now, here's the problem. I would love to nod, you know, put all of them in there. But it's going to have me put all of them in there. Now, how do I, how would I go about splitting some of these bad boys up, though? Grab half? Let me just grab one. I guess we only need one to really, um, hold us down if we get too tired and unhappy, right? Or stressed, I should say. Alrighty, that's it. So, you know what, guys? Let's call it an episode here. We got the axes, meaning now we have a way to kind of pause the game. We have a way to actually chop down trees, which is uh, part one of getting all the wood that we need in order to do this. So, maybe next episode I'm going to start meandering a little bit about with the, um building of stuff so kind of like switch it up a little bit and you know do something i'm not too used to doing which is building stuff hopefully you guys enjoyed it i will catch you guys next time